you know something, when you think about and you look at the current product, the WWE, and this is a little bit of a rant. If you want more rants, just share, subscribe, smash the bell, refresh my page multiple times a day. Because this is the place for all rumors, news, headlines, and WWE, the world of professional wrestling, world wrestling entertainment. Sean View, the brash. If you want to donate to my future and to keep the flow of the show, the progression, just click the link. Click the link in the comment section below. But... You know, WWE as a child, I used to have that enthusiasm. It used to be epic. It used to be off the charts. It used to be, as the Miz would say, must-see TV. The WWE would get you interested. They would get you invested. And, it, you know, imagine if the Attitude Era, the Attitude Era, okay? And I understand competition, WCW, ECW, other indie promotions around the world back in the day. But imagine if Monday Night Raw had only consisted of match after match after rematch after rematch. Imagine if you couldn't decipher the differences. Imagine, remember back in the day they had all the fan signs. Remember back in the day the signs in the crowd. You remember that? Remember the the reaction. Remember the overall feeling and the vibe in the audience. Remember the unpredictability. Remember the ratings. Re- remember a lot of things, okay? I, I remember all of this as a child, as a kid. Now that I'm closing in on being 30 years old with a daughter... Now single, um, you know, I, I reflect and I'm, I'm a taken back. And even though this is the undisputed place for all things WWE news, rumors, and headlines, and I'm the face that books the place, what is WWE to me in 2018? Is it as intriguing? Is it as interesting? Is it as unpredictable? Do they have the think outside the box mentality or is it all about promotion? Is it all about money? Is it all about markability? Is it all about, you know, you know, being sanctioned, you know, cutting back? Is it all about going through the motions? You know, I look at WWE. You know, back in the day when you went to a live event, even live events were more exciting. I mean, yeah, the WWE superstars, they interact with you. They sign autographs. They try to get up close and personal with you. But what WWE, quite frankly, and this is the, this is the best way to sum it up. You, you can talk about ratings. You can talk about storylines. You can talk about, um, you know... Uh, angles and cre- creative, the higher-ups. You, you can talk about all that all day long. But when you watch Monday Night Raw or SmackDown Live, hey, on any given week, Raw or SmackDown could be better than each other. And with the talk of SmackDown Live being the flagship show more than Monday Night Raw because they're getting that whole Fox deal in 2019, this could spell the end of Raw or, or, or Raw could plummet to all-time lows. But when you think of WWE in 2018, I think, it of as, I think of it as a house show, a live event, a glorified just show of matches, circa wrestling when it was, you know, just, I, it, it actually coughs me up. It, 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 I don't know what to say. I, I don't know what to think. It, it's just match, circus ole. I mean, remember back in the day when your parents used to talk to you about the circus and they used to have wrestling in the circus and it was match after match after match. Yeah, you could decipher who's the good guy, who's the bad guy, who to cheer for. But now when you watch Raw or SmackDown, where's the development? Where's the progress? Where's the evolution? Where is the WWE adapting? Where is the storytelling? It's almost like non-existent. The WWE says, oh, well, you always have to tune in to the, you always have to tune in to the next chapter. You always have to see what's going to happen next. You know, they, 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 you know, NXT is producing a great product. NXT, the end all be all. I don't really watch NXT. I just hear about it and I, I watch clips. Maybe I should watch more about it. And then everyone's talking about the indies and how they have these great superb matches. Well, WWE has five star matches, but where's the story to go along with it? Why are they competing? Who, why are they going against each other? What's the heat? Remember when guys, superstars, athletes in the WWE used to, credit, used to cut a great promo? Remember when you're enthusiastic? Remember when you couldn't wait until the next Monday Night Raw? Remember when there was continuation? Remember when there was action? Remember when it was extreme? Remember when the WWE had a reason for you to stream? I mean, I, I know there's a lot of streaming going on, but... You know, you, you you look at live events and uh, attendance is down, ratings is down, but yet the WWE is still making a boatload of money due to the fact of their partnerships, their sponsorships, the WWE Network, 
WrestleMania. Listen, I know that WWE is doing good. They don't have to listen to me. Heck, you don't even have to listen to me. And I don't want the Attitude Era back. I don't want TV 14 back. I want something different. I want a different thought process. I want a different creative. You know, like I said, there's only so much. I'll bring back hardcore wrestling. Bring back the girls in the bikinis. Bring back this. Bring back that. They're giving us more girl-woman content than ever before in all women's pay-per-view. Let's see how well that go- gets over. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm not going to comment on it. But viewers and subscribers, from my perspective, when you watch Raw or SmackDown, every week you're watching the same damn show. At what point do you change? At what point do you think different? At what point do you treat this as a television show? You know, and 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 I, I don't know why the, the the TV product, the Raw, the SmackDown Live, even though they've done this brand supremacy, the brand war, the the current product is broken. Listen, I'm a fan. I've been a fan since I was four years old. I have a brother who's 44 years old. He comes from the eras of the Andre the Giants, the Hulk Hogan's. He told me that that era of wrestling in the 80s was better than the Attitude Era, even. But, uh, um, you know, there's a lot of confliction there. There's, I, I think the Attitude Era was, be- was better. I'm a huge Austin fan. And, and you know what? It's not, it's, not all, it's not all creative fault. The WWE waters the product down. It's not the TV ratings fault. They don't let the wrestlers be an extension of themselves. We don't have managers. They don't let the wrestlers, you know, just go out there and, and, and talk. You know, they get in, you know, told, oh, you're going to say this, you're going to act this way, you're going to act that way. Nothing's natural. Nothing's organic. Nothing is real anymore. Oh, well, the wrestling business has been exposed. And it's a different era. It's a different time. Ratings aren't going to be as high because you got internet and Netflix and the network and YouTube and this and that. No. If a product is good, if it keeps you entertained, if it keeps you engaged, if it keeps you engaged, You will keep watching. Your eyes will be on the prize. You will be on the edge of your seat. Are there certain segments on Raw that are good? Are there certain must-see moments on SmackDown? Are there certain things on pay-per-view that you want to get invested in? Yes. But when you're talking about the Attitude Era, the Ruthless Aggression Era, it just doesn't add up. We don't have the athletes like a Bret Hart or Ric Flair. We don't have the entertaining Superstars like a Hulk Hogan, a Stone Cold, a John Cena anymore. John Cena's barely there. You still have the the sadistic Viper Randy Orton, but Randy Orton's only there so much. And, you know, know, it's a changing of the guard. It's a changing of the system. And the WWE just doesn't seem to care to cater to the ratings because they're making so much money. They don't have competition. So this is almost where I would hope that some indie promotion would rise up because we know WCW is gone. ECW is dead. The WWE is ahead. And as long as the WWE keeps in the mode of the same song and dance over and over again. Hey, this is just my rant. Listen, I'll always be a passionate fan. I'll always love WWE. I'll always give props to Vince McMahon for making WWE what it is. But it's just not the WWE that I remember. And once again, I don't want to see the Attitude Era or the Ruthless Aggression Era. Just give me compelling, intriguing content. The WWE says that they're up against not only other wrestling companies like ROH, which they don't really see as as a uh, as a threat. They're up against every show on program. Well, guess what? The WWE better start acting like it before it all goes down. Share and subscribe. More to come from the Brash One, the Brash. And Brazen, Sean's Entertainment. Once again, if you want to donate, if you support the flow of Sean's Entertainment, click the link below to donate and show your support for Sean's Entertainment. If you agree, if you disagree, or do you like the WWE? I mean, you're looking at the WWE now. You got to understand the talent that is missing or that's injured. No more Triple H. No more Undertaker. No more John Cena. Brock Lesnar is a part timer. You don't have the Austins and the Rocks. You don't have those explosive personalities. You don't have the unpredictability of, of a Dean Ambrose. Because I can't call Dean Ambrose unpredictable. Because he's not unpredictable. And it's not Dean Ambrose's fault. It's just the way it is. You need to overhaul. The WWE needs a, ma- a just a monumental overhaul. 
That's what the WWE needs, and that ain't no L-I-E. Share, subscribe if you want more rumors, news, headlines around the clock, multiple times a day in WWE nonstop. This is the place to be, the face that books this place. Your comments and your opinions on the WWE's ways in 2018. And this formula isn't spicing, isn't adding. It's keeping to the same darn thing. Subscribe.